Good afternoon, everybody. So uh, I just got done up there at the shop, so I came down here to the house. Um, just put in a couple hours today. I got the, uh, you can see I got the dump truck backed up here. That's just where we tore off the old roof, threw it in the dump truck. Got Diamond over there. He's cutting boards for me. Then, as you can see, we replaced the old skip sheeting right there. Um, just where it was really uh, just rotted and deteriorated. And then we're starting to come back with new OSB sheeting. Um, I'm going to have to run to Lowe's again tonight because I need some more skip sheeting lumber. Um, so I don't know if I'll get it completely sheeted tonight. If not, I'll pick it back up in the morning. Good morning, everybody. So I'm up here on the roof. Decided to put in, you know, a couple hours for work before the sun really got up and got hot. So here's a little bit of what I got. We got the old uh, skip sheeting replaced right here. Now what skip sheeting does, the reason I replaced it, is because of the two by four rafters. Um, even whenever they have a 16 foot span, they still have a little bit of wobble. And, uh, and especially whenever they're on 24 inch centers, that creates just a lot of weakness. So really what these do is they just hold them all together, keep them from swaying and makes it about three times stronger. And then you go in with the sheeting on top of that. And uh, then after that, I'll come back with my felt paper. Um, I have to be at the office here in about an hour. So I don't know if I'll get the entire sheet paper done. If not, I'll pick it back up after work. Well, it's a couple days later. I had some stuff coming up on the office after work, so I wasn't able to make it up on the roof. But I finally got up here, got all the sheeting on, um, cut in around the, uh, the the chimney there, and also around the one vent for the kitchen. Um, I got all my felt paper down, and I got the starter shingles all run. Um, so what starter shingles do is just kind of give you out a baseline to follow. And then also, um, these here are three tab shingles, uh, and they have these little kind of voids in it so you put your starter shingle on backwards towards the edge and then that covers up that void right here whenever you actually put your shingles on and then you whenever you put your shingles on you will want to lap the edge of your roof about three quarters to one inch just to allow water to really fall off so I got about three rows kind of start over there so I'm just gonna keep going well I'm gonna call it a day um, I got about three quarters of uh, all the shingles on. It took a little bit longer than expected because we had quite a bit of wind today here in Oklahoma and it kept wanting to blow my felt paper back off. So that took a little bit longer than expected. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try and do some mowing here on the tractor, fix some couple things up on it before I go home and call it a day. See y'all later.